Hayabusa 2 is a spacecraft on a mission to explore the near-Earth asteroid Ryugu. In 2019, it briefly touched down twice on the surface of Ryugu and took readings with various instruments. The data gathered then continues to give researchers insight into the physical and chemical properties of the one kilometer wide asteroid. Researchers from the Department of Earth and Planetary Science used imaging instruments to look at dusty matter kicked up by the spacecraft's engines. They discovered large amounts of fine, dark red minerals on Ryugu's surface. These were produced by solar heating, suggesting at some point Ryugu must have passed close by the Sun. These findings could help explain the history of Ryugu and other asteroids, as well as the solar system at large. Did you know that components for green technology like wind turbines, LEDs and rechargeable batteries rely heavily on a group of metals known as the rare earth elements? At present, the world's supply of these metals mainly comes from mines in China. However, a large deposit near the Japanese island of Minamatorishima could soon help satisfy the ever-increasing demand. But how did the metal deposit appear, and why there? It turns out to have quite a surprising origin. Fish, or rather, fossilized fish. Ancient global climate change and certain kinds of undersea geology drove fish populations to specific locations. As remains of the fish became fossilized, they accumulated valuable metals from the surrounding sea environment, and these fossil beds became concentrated deposits of the metals. This discovery could aid future prospects for deposits of rare earth elements in other undersea locations. If you watch a lot of films of the cinema, you most often see them projected at a rate of 24 frames or images per second. But a team, including researchers from the Department of Chemistry, have successfully captured video of single molecules in motion at an unprecedented 1,600 frames per second. All these extra frames each second give researchers the ability to observe fast and unpredictable events that are otherwise impossible to see, for example, molecules in motion or even chemical reactions. The images are created by a special high-speed, highly sensitive camera called a direct electron detection camera. This is connected to a transmission electron microscope with the resolving power enough to see individual atoms. However, the videos created are still extremely noisy and require sophisticated noise removal algorithms and a lot of practice to make sense of them. This new technique reveals the world of atoms and molecules like never before and aims to help solve many outstanding mysteries in science.